There are a number of significant exposures faced by oil and gas companies these days, and I would point to a few as being some of the more prominent. The Jones Act is an exposure that is a very significant concern for oil and gas companies who tend to work offshore, on, around, or near water. And the Jones Act is a negligence cause of action in favor of someone who qualifies as a seaman and is injured in the course and scope of his or her employment. And the negligence claim, if the injury or uh, death occurs, is lodged against the employer. Another significant exposure is somewhat the reverse side of the Jones Act uh, liability and risk. <clears throat> and that's under the Longshore and Harbor Workers Compensation Act. That is a workers compensation remedy for those that are maritime employees, but they do not qualify as seamen. So you can be one or the other. You can be either a Jones Act seaman or a longshoreman covered by the Longshore and Harbor Workers' Compensation Act. And the remedy is regulated under the Longshore Act. It's a workers' comp remedy, similar to many states, but typically the benefits are higher. And then I think pollution is a significant exposure for oil and gas companies these days. And one need only to look at the Macondo disaster involving BP, and uh, you can imagine the attention that has been placed on the oil and gas industry since that event some few years ago. Well, the, the, the exposures are fairly well known to companies that deal frequently on, around, or near water. I think the dangers come into play in a, in a couple of respects. <clears throat> First, companies that aren't used to working near water sometimes don't forecast the risk under the Jones Act or the Longshore Act or other maritime exposures and consequently either don't get the appropriate insurance coverage or the insurance coverage that they do get is insufficient. Um, and then I think also even as to companies that frequently are conducting operations on, around, or near water, the challenge is to make certain that their portfolio of coverage is adequate and that they're accurately assessing the claims as they arise. Is it a Jones Act seaman uh, who was injured? Or is it someone covered by the Longshore Act, a Workers' Compensation Act? Or is it some other remedy? and accurately making those determinations is very important.